Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. It's Allison with Upright and Caffeinated, and this morning we're going to do a few more Valentine's fun little uh, tchotchkes here. So if you're joining live, please say hi so that I know you're watching this, and if you are watching on replay, please leave me a hashtag replay so that I know you got to see this. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. So this morning we're doing a couple, I'm gonna do two little projects, little tiny projects. So I mentioned last week that I have seen these beautiful tiered trays. And it's just, you get these tiered trays and you can set it you know, kind of anywhere in your house and you put these little like knickknacks and stuff on it. And they are so pretty, they're so cute. So I don't have a tiered tray, so I kinda made my own. So right here, I've got a cake plate, and then I have this little like copper bowl on a stand on top of the cake plate. So I'm kind of slowly adding little things to it. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I made this with my um, six-year-old, and it looks super cute. Um, so I just, I got that. Last week, we did um, this little house with a house. Good morning, Debbie. Um, and then I've got my, my tea towel that I did with the little conversation hearts on there. So just kind of little knick-knacky things. This morning, we are going to do this adorable little mailbox. Look how cute this is. It's a cute little mailbox. I got it at the Target dollar spot. It was $1. So it's got like a little heart. Can you see the little heart on the flag? It's so cute. So we're going to chalk this. Then the other thing we're going to do, we're going to use some wine corks, and we're going to do something with wine corks. So right now, I'm just stirring up my face. We're going to use cherry blossom, peony, and red today. So I am just going to stir these up really quickly, and we're going to start with the red. We're going to start with that little mailbox, okay? Let's just stir this up. So again, if you're joining, say hi. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, everyone. All right. So that is the peony. It's so pretty. I love that color. All right. And then candy apple red. And this one is brand new because my other one, I went to use it last week and um, it was completely dried out. So, but that's okay because we used it a lot during Christmas. Um, so not surprised that it was completely dried out. Ooh, this one's splashing all over the place too. So this one's brand new and it's got a lot of, um, if you get a brand new paste, sometimes it'll have a lot of uh, liquid kind of sitting on the top, kind of like peanut butter. So if you buy, you know, the organic peanut butter or the natural peanut butter, not the Jif or the Skippy, but like the kind of more expensive peanut butters, when you first open it, it's got like a layer of um, oil on the top and you just kind of have to mix it in. It's kind of how the pastes are with the water, the, the, um, like liquid and moisture in the paste will kind of sit on top. So when you get a brand new paste, you want to stir that in, stir it, stir it, stir it up really well. So that looks really good. That looks great. Okay. So, so we're going to start with the red and I'm actually going to, I got red paste all over that. I'm going to just wipe that off. No big deal. Okay. So I want to do the front of this, um, this little mailbox here and there's one that just it looks like a valentine and it says happy valentine that's it to my valentine that's what it says to my valentine i thought that would look really cute right there just right on the front and if i wanted to i could do kind of either side um but i think i just want to do the front on this little mailbox all right so that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna chalk this in. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Lizette. Okay, so I'm gonna just fuzz this, and I'm gonna fuzz it pretty well because we're doing this on metal, um, which means it's gonna stick really, really well. And the transfers come super, super sticky, so that you can use them over and over and over again. So you wanna just kinda of make them a little less sticky the first few times you use them, so that you don't pull it off and stretch out the silk screen. You wanna avoid stretching that silk screen because if you stretch the silk screen, you're not gonna get those nice crisp lines and you could get bleeding around your transfer. You don't want that, so don't stretch the silk screen. All right, so we're just gonna put that right there, right on the top. You don't have to press too hard, just make sure that you've got a good seal around all the part that you can see through, that's your silk screen. You wanna see through that, you wanna just press it down gently. 
All right, and then we're gonna just squeegee paste on and squeegee off the excess. Now, how do you know that you have enough paste or not too much paste? You wanna make sure that the whole area of the silk screen is covered, but you need to be able to see the image, okay? Can you see that? If you can't see what's underneath, if you can't see the design, if you can't see the image, you have too much paste, all right? And then when you peel these off, you wanna to go top to bottom or side to side, because if you pull from corner to corner, you could stretch the silk screen. <laughs> and that's a fabric thing. If you're into fabrics, you know about pulling from corner to corner. <laughs> I am not a fabric person, not at all. <laughs> so that, one, that was a, a new thing to me. Okay, so look how cute that is. To my Valentine, little adorable mailbox. How cute is that? I love it. I almost wanna make one of these for each of my kids. And then like, let, you know, like put little notes in it every day or something like how cute would that be to like put little Valentine's notes in all the month of February. So cute. All right. And the transfer that I used was from the February 14th. It's those little Valentine's minis. I think that's what, no, it's called Sprinkled with Love. I'm sorry. February 14th is the big one. Sorry. <laughs> it's called Sprinkled with Love and it's little, it's um, 12 little, uh, little Valentine's mini transfers. And they're great for all kinds of things. Good morning, Dawn. Okay, so we had a, um, a birthday party for my, my youngest turned five on Saturday. So we had a birthday party and I opened a bottle of Prosecco because of course you have to open a bottle of Prosecco at a five-year-old's birthday party. And let me show you that guys this pork. Okay, so I opened this bottle and I'm like, no way, how cute is that? There was a heart. On the on the court and I'm like oh that's cute I'm gonna put it on my little tiered tray and then I thought wait I have other forks that have nothing on them let's use the homespun hearts and let's add little hearts so we're gonna add hearts to these corks um, so these are the these are the homespun hearts and um, I mean like this heart is like exactly what that is so I mean all different kinds of hearts but there's all different kinds there's little teeny tiny ones there's larger ones so like this one was on a bottle of Prosecco, so it's a little bit of a larger surface area. If I'm doing something that was on the bottom, like this was a bottle of red, so like for that one, I wanna use a smaller one, okay? So we're gonna just do a couple of these that are a little bit flat. Some of those are a little, like my, um, I think when I opened it, like my bottle opener went too far in. All right, so we'll do a couple of these. Maybe, maybe that one. Okay, so we're just gonna chalk on a couple of these. Let me grab my, my transfer trimmers here that are up high because I have little boys and anytime they see scissors, they want to play with them and cut everything in sight. Okay, so look at these cute teeny tiny little hearts. Um, that one's cute too. It's got like a little face. So adorable. So again, these are called homespun hearts. And they're super cute, but we're gonna do these in the, we're gonna use the peony and the um, cherry blossom for these. So I'm gonna start with kind of this larger one. We're gonna do it right here on this, this cork right there, okay? And what I have found with cork, I've done a couple things with cork. You don't need a fuzz it, um, and, and you probably need to hold it down a little. The transfers don't stick as well to cork. They're not, they're just not as sticky to cork. So you may want to hold it down a little, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. So let's do um, let's do the peony with this one, okay? And so I'm just going to get a little on my my um, squeegee here, and I'm going to hold this transfer in place, and I'm going to squeegee down, okay? Now I'm going to kind of hold it off to the side a little bit there, and then I'm going to squeegee up, okay? There. Now I've got a perfect little heart, but again, it, the transfers do not stick really well to cork. So if, if you're trying this and you're like, oh, my transfer is not sticking, something's wrong, it's not you. It's not your transfer. <laughs> it's just they just don't stick really well to cork. <laughs> so don't, don't worry. You'll just need to hold it down a little. All right. So now let's do this one. Since this had like red wine on it, 
um, I want to use the one that's like open in the center. This little one that's that's just the outline of the heart. Okay. And we're going to do this in the cherry blossom, which is really, really light. It's a really, really, really pale pink. Um, because this is so small, I'm actually going to use my multi-tool because it's kind of a small little squeegee area. And see, I just like bumped that and it, and it moved. Okay, so again, I'm going to squeegee down, like starting kind of from the middle. And then I'm going to hold it down here and then squeegee up. Okay, there. Adorable. Oops. Look how cute that is. Can you see? So cute. These are adorable. That's not going to stay up because of how I have my bottle opener. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So then this last one, I want to do this one. I'm going to do the same color. I'm going to do that cherry blossom because it's so pretty. It's so light. All right. So this last teeny tiny little heart. And again, my wine cork, my bottle opener went through that, so it's got like a lump in it. All right, so that looks good. So again, I'm going to hold it, squeegee down. Oh, see, that's even coming up because the transfer really just does not stick well to cork. But we're going to hold it and make it work. Okay, see, and look, it looks adorable. Yep, cute, 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 cute. Okay, so now I can set those on my little tiered tray that I'm working on and just kind of have them sitting out, maybe lining around the bottom or something like that. And I've got these little hearts on these wine corks. How cute is that? How cute is that? So just a couple little quick projects. Used really small transfers today. We used the homespun hearts, which again comes with all these different teeny tiny little hearts. It's adorable. Um, and then we did the, uh, the Sprinkled with Love, these little mini transfers, and those are super cute too. So let me scroll and look at comments. Good morning, Marianne. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. You use most of your wine corks for Christmas, so you must drink more wine. You must. <laughs> I insist. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I never was one to save wine corks until I started crafting, and now I'm like, now I save them all. Um, so when does the new catalog come out? So the new catalog coming out the first week of February and, um, a lot of, uh, chocolate tour leaders were at the leadership, uh, conference this past week and they got a sneak peek of the catalog. And so I've seen bits and pieces, but I haven't seen the whole thing. I'm hoping that I get to look at the whole thing <laughs> online today. Um, but unfortunately I was not able to go to leadership because it was my little one's fifth birthday on the same day of leadership. And so, um, I, I chose to stay home with my kids and celebrate, uh, my five-year-old's birthday with them. So I missed out on all the chalk couture fun at leadership, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I will, uh, get you guys information as, as it, as I learn about it, because I am totally not caught up, caught up with anything that happened this past weekend at leadership. So um, as soon as I find out things, I will let you guys know. But it is coming out. The catalog will be released the first week of February. I will get a sneak peek out to you guys before then, for sure. Um, and uh, all those items will be available the first week of February. There's some really cool things. Um, good morning. Goodness. Oh, yes, Marianne. That's what I was thinking is to put little notes for the boys. Um, Marianne has three boys and I, she's like mom goals for me because she has three boys and her boys are amazing. They're so talented and they're, they're sweet. They're kind. They're responsible. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, if my boys can only be half as good as the filler boys. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, yes, that's what I'm going to use this for. I think we're, I'm going to do one for each boy because, again, $1 at Target, and they had them in all different colors. They had them in teal, they had them in pink, they had them in red, and they had them in white, but I thought the white would be really cute with the red chalk paste. So, mm, just a sip of coffee. I will take a picture of this tiered tray as it's coming along so you guys can see my, my fake tiered tray. Um, but if anybody has any suggestions of other things that I should put on this tiered tray, let me know. I've never done one of these before. And again, it's not a real tiered tray. It's just a cake stand with a bowl with a stand on it. <laughs> um, but if anybody has any ideas, let me know and I will, I'll try it and I'll put it on there. 
So if anybody has any more questions, leave them below. I'm happy to answer them. And like I said, um, more information will be coming about the, the new catalog and all the things that will be available. I'm super excited. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will pop in tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.